one casualty of the day was uh, these. <laughs> Bit of a shame. Oh, these were my favourite ear defenders as well. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> I have got these. But you have to squeeze them to get them in then they end up a bit grubby <laughs> by the time it gets in your ear it's like a bit dirty because i've had to squeeze it with my gloves on <laughs> welcome to the a macintosh channel here we are on a roof clean today here's paul uh, it's not the pool that you're used to seeing on my channel. It's a different pool helping me today. <laughs> Hello there. You can only work with me if your name's Paul. <laughs> um, so roof clean today. This is a really mossy one. So um, when you get to a job like this, it's kind of like can be a little bit daunting. You don't know what to expect sometimes because sometimes the moss comes off really easily. Other times it can be more stubborn. Just sort of depends on the type of tile it is type of moss it is <laughs> um, so anyway we're going to give it a good go the back of the property there's quite a small section of roof and then at the front here you can see this big section that comes much lower to the ground and sweeps all the way up so um, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of work so Paul's on cleanup <laughs> and he's up for it he's ready buzzing mate <laughs> so uh let's crack on with this one and see how it goes So we've done the back, it came up really well actually. Um, the moss came off really easily, so I was really pleased with that, really pleased how it's gone. It's been a really good transformation. And so we've moved the scaffold round to this side now and um, it's set up ready to go. Now you notice I've used the full height of the scaffold. I haven't just stopped at the gutter height and used the poles straight up the roof like that. It'd be, end up being more strain. So it, even though the roof slopes right down quite low like this I'll set up the full height of the scaffold so that I can more easily reach the top there and it'll be much easier to work with it'll be much easier to use the thing I'm not quite sure about is the flat roof here is going to make this side a little bit tricky so I'm going to try and reach this angle here but then there's going to be m mess end up on the flat roof so I'll see how that goes see if I can rinse it off from the scaffold I might even have to go up there hopefully not Hopefully I can just rinse it off using the pole, uh, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes.
this day now? What a day. Beautiful. Beautiful. And it's supposed to be rainy. It's supposed to be the tail end of a storm today, but I'm glad we didn't pack up and decide not to do the job. We just cracked on, got it done, and we're nearly there. Look at this. We delivered. <laughs> we delivered. Um, so just got this last bit up this end and uh, quite a bit of cleaning up to do. I wish I knew. Okay, so we're done. we're done. We completed the job. We left in a bit of a hurry, but I did get some after shots quickly of the roof. It was a good transformation. Yep. A lot of moss and the cleanup was immense. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was a significant cleanup. So it's surprising sometimes how much it piles up as it comes down the roof. Um, so you did a good job there, Paul. Yeah, I did. For your first one, yeah, it's it your was. first roof clean. I can't believe how much moss there was. So there you go. Yeah, that's how it gets. Um, and there was quite a significant pile that you'd created. Yeah, it was on the, the only pile I'm proud of. <laughs> the compost heap. <laughs> so yeah, really good. We cleared out the gutters, washed everything down. The customer was really happy with it. There's a couple of little places where there were cracked tiles. Um, and as usual, you know, I haven't caused that damage. With the cleaning work but the moss usually there was so much moss it was covering up those issues so that's part of the reason it's good to have the moss removed because that holds the water close to the tiles which especially with the winter coming can cause cracking when it freezes if there's any weak spots you know cause issues like that so I always recommend to the customer a good roofer if they want to get those issues sorted out recommend someone to do that um, and of course we also applied the biocide afterwards so if the biocide is used on a regular basis every three or four years you wouldn't need to come back and do pressure washing again it would just maintain the roof nicely with the chemical treatment so there wouldn't have to be that whole clear up situation you wouldn't have to go through that whole rigmarole <laughs> <laughs> It'd be much easier just to apply the chemical every few years and that would maintain the roof. Good job. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the transformation as much as we did. <laughs>
<laughs> Would you like to add anything, Paul? Absolutely not. Okay. It's... <laughs> do you want to do the like and subscribe? Like and subscribe. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you.